Hare Krishna. Today I would like to discuss about why some marriages fail. Is it possible, you know, for it's told that you know with two hands there will be a clack, but with two hands there will be a divorce also. But if there's one hand, you know, which is not willing to clap, is it possible to stop a divorce? Yes, you can. You know, provided you are very sincere devotee. You don't have to be a pure devotee. You can be a struggling sadhak, but you should be a struggling sadhak. You should daily struggle, you know, to do your sadhana well. So, what are the things that can break a marriage? Is kama, krodha, lobha, moha. mother and matsara so these these six things you know are our enemies bhagavad gita says lust anger and greed are three gates to hell so you know no wonder if we have lust anger greed and other three things you know how the marriage won't be a hell so how to make marriage successful if one of the person is one extreme and the other one another extreme you know is it possible to tolerate someone who is too much you know as far as anger is concerned or envy is concerned or bossism is concerned you know if one person is trying to control the other and other has to become a puppet is it possible to make the marriage work yes if you are in such a situation you are going to be a pure devotee if you are not going to break the marriage that's for sure in this lifetime how now it is like this See, grihastha is a ashrama. It's not that sannyasis only are sannyasis. Brahmachari ashrama, you know that they are also austere. Grihastha ashrama. So we too are living in a ashrama. There are austerities. It's not just having fun. You know, um, people say that you know if you get married, then there's so much of fun. No, there's so much of austerities. You know, both the husband. and wife will have to actually sacrifice a lot to make the marriage work but if the husband or the wife if they're not willing to do any sacrifice and if they expect us to do everything what they want us to do is it possible for us to tolerate the answer is yes we have to be intelligent now first of all let us talk about the arishad vargas the six enemies what are they kama krodha lobha moha madha matsara now about kama kama means lust if we have too much of lust how to tolerate it see sometimes lust not only meaning you know sex desire it can be anything anything you know if the wife or if the husband is you know so much attached for something like if i love to eat ice cream every day you know and then it may be expensive for my husband to buy also you know so if there is some kind of lust like that you know or lust with respect to sex you know what can be done if the lust is too strong there is one way we have to focus on the lotus feet of the lord and beg and pray please help me to get rid of this lust you know just by sincerely begging and praying you know there will be miraculous effects we have to try it then we will know that's one thing and if lust is all about sex desire then it is better we start hearing krishna katha right from the beginning you know before his birth so if we can go on hearing from the beginning till the end when we start hearing all the leelas our lust will be transformed into love for krishna we will get attracted to krishna katha you know there's no disease in the world that cannot be cured you know by hearing krishna katha in other words by hearing krishna katha all the diseases related to the mind can be cured i meant by diseases in the world means related to the mind all problems related to the mind can be eradicated just by getting an addiction for hearing about krishna to get an addiction we should start so that is why ಶ್ರವಣ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಸ್ಮರಣ ವಂದನ ಪಾದ ಸೇವನ ದಾಸ್ಯರಿ ಪೂಜನ ಸಖಿ ಜನ ಆತ್ಮ ನಿವೇದನ ಗೋವಿಂದ ದಾಸ ಅಭಿ ಲಾಶರಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಶ್ರವಣ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟ
you know lust is attacking the heart isn't it so heart has to be cleansed and that's possible krishna says in bhagavatam that you know by regularly hearing if you regularly attentively hear shrimad bhagavatam krishna personally enters into our hearts and cleans our heart so actually lust anger greed everything can be gone by hearing shrimad bhagavatam but let's see some other techniques also you know for curing anger kama is over krodha so about anger one technique is that we can see a very positive thing when we are getting angry suppose if our spouse is doing something nasty and we are getting very angry let us see what is the benefit in this situation for us because let me tell you you know there is nothing happening in our life that's not beneficial to us krishna allows only beneficial things to happen in devotee's life how can it be beneficial if the spouse is having another wife illegally you know or he is after other women and we get to know how are we going to tackle it many men marriages break you know in at such situations but i know of two cases you know my friend has told me about her two friends actually what one friend did was i mean two friends their husbands had another relationship and both get to know and then what do they do the wives you know one wife fights you know why you do this either she or me he says well you get out i like her you know and in other case what she does is okay it doesn't matter if you like her more you can be with her but i will be with your parents this is a real story you know real story you know and this lady she lived with her in-laws and in-laws felt bad for her they were good people they said see your husband is not even staying with you how will you live like this if you want you can even leave our home and divorce and get remarried at least you will be happy our son is not listening to us she said no but i love you both you are my parents and i'm happier in your company and then she stayed with the in-laws and his husband after 2 months or 3 months he would come home and he would just be there for a day or two and then again run back to her and she was very clever what she did was she was very nice she followed the duties of a wife now she knew that there was something lacking in her see the thing is a husband will not look at another woman if we are perfect wives perfect in every sense you know so we have to be very good you know as there are seven rules we have to be really serving our husband you massage the feet of the husband speak sweetly cook nicely be a good wife in bed do you know good uh, talks like suggestions like a mantri you know so and then feed him like a mother gunjeshu mata kshamaya dharitri we would be like the earth you know very forgiving so if all these rules if a woman is perfectly following and if she dresses in a way that looks nice to her husband you know no husband uh, you know will look at another woman if he is completely satisfied with the wife so very fact that he looked at another woman and he's gone after another woman means something is wrong with me so simple fact you know even if the husband ditches the wife or wife ditches the husband we have to just understand that something is wrong with me it's not that something is wrong with them it's not that the husband is bad it's that i was unfit for him according to his views so we have to start working so she started working on i mean how should i behave to make him have a good experience so whenever he came for a day or two it was a festival for her and she really treated him nicely in every respect and then he went home uh, went back to his another wife then again after few months he would come back and she would be super wife and then i was surprised when i came to know in 2 years time you know in just 2 years time this man said you know he came back actually he came back and he stayed and he was not going the wife asked what happened you know uh, you not going there so she said i am done i'm not going to go back anymore i have broken with her this was a great gift you know for the wife then she started feeling like oh he is staying with me that's a great thing he is coming home that's a great thing she became grateful to her husband you know he is providing for my needs that's great he is taking me out that's great 
while other wives take it all for granted so if we can appreciate that they are living with us and not going with other women these days it's kaliyuga it's really bad you know if if our husbands are coming home daily if they are providing us food to eat because in so many houses the husbands take wives earning and go and drink and finish it neither theirs remains neither the wives remains for cooking food at home so if the husband is not like that he is bringing some money home to eat then you know if we can be grateful you know then we will not be angry with our husbands means husband can do anything it's okay for me but i am just going to be happy if he is just at home if we can develop this kind of positive thinking then when they do some nonsense activities like this like he went out you know she didn't find fault she stayed with the in-laws and then that was nice otherwise you know this is about material couple i said for devotees you know i have heard many people say yeah if my husband was too good probably i would be very attached to my husband you know i wouldn't get attached to krishna or probably i would have given up my krishna consciousness so there are wives you know who see negative things in a very positive way and there are husbands also you know sometimes wives are very much you know not adjustable they're all the time complaining about the mother in law but the devotee husbands they simply listen you know neither they do things that will provoke the wife nor they do things that will provoke the mother in law but they're not so much intelligent to handle to make them both become friends you know so they just don't add to the problem they just listen from both the sides though it is very difficult for them they tolerate thinking women na after all my mother is a woman wife is a woman so woman body means more of rajoguna and more of tamoguna male body means more of satvoguna they understand this simple basic thing and they accept them as they are therefore the marriage works so either you accept the situation or still better is you know i like to find something positive in a bad situation i see that you know if if suppose you know something makes me angry if it was not like this i could not improve you know now because of this i will try my best to improve like i was a very messy person and my mother in law keeps the house pick and span she is i feel so many times that she is more in satva guna though she is not a devotee though she does not chant but she is like a devotee she keeps the house very neat and tidy you know so my husband would naturally feel oh what is this so much of a mess oh what is this is this a house you know initially in the beginning of my marriage it used to be like that and i used to simply admire my mother in law's way of keeping things luckily i got to, you know my uh, mentors at that time first mentor was sita charu devi dasi mata ji you know from uh, she was the leader of uh, dubai ma and then we shifted to sharja there um, her grace sachi yashoda mata ji she would keep the house like a temple all the rooms would look simply empty all the things would be inside the cupboard everything would have a place by just admiring regularly you know i would see my husband's anger very positively okay he is angry so somehow i have to win his heart so let me use this opportunity to win his heart so let me learn to keep things in its uh, places let me keep things in order so like that you know i was constantly trying and trying and you know over 4 uh, 5 years time because that time my baby was small i had to go and work in a school as computer teacher then i would come home i wouldn't know how to keep things in places but i knew you know that the house can look so great if things can go into place so this way i started trying and trying and within few years time i became very good at it you know i could keep a very nice clean house also so though my 25 years of practice to be messy you know uh, within 5 years i could change means when i used the anger or you know disturbance in the house to as a learning experience i thought okay now let me do something you know let me learn to keep it in the most wonderful manner so then let me see whether he'll get angry you know yes then he used to be very happy actually about the housekeeping he used to be very happy so take the anger situation in a very positive way to try to correct ourselves instead of you know making it a big thing and fighting about it let us always try to correct ourselves see you want the marriage to work it's possible you want the marriage to be great it's possible we have to be a great spouse you know if we can be a wonderful wife or a wonderful husband 
so wonderful that in our company if our spouse is a criminal he or she also have to change you know if we can be so much wonderful why will our spouse not change you not married a criminal na if you not married a criminal it's very easy for the other person to change we have to put the hard work so to save the marriage it's worth it and you know the bliss that you have when you really you know grow instead of making the other person grow you know don't force the other person to change let us change so much that the husband or the wife should be inspired to change they should be able to admire us so much more than anybody else on earth then the marriages will never break there will be so much love between the husband and wife so use every opportunity when we get angry into a gift then the anger will be curbed not only that we will become grateful i am actually very grateful to my husband and especially to his mother because i learned housekeeping first from them and then from the devotees then you know about lobha kama krodha lobha lobha means greed you know greed is one thing which can never finish it goes on increasing anger will finish you go and slap the person your anger will come down the minute the other person cries you know but greed you get an increment you feel ah oh, she got more increment why i got only so much i was the one who was working more than her you know we always want more more and more ye dil mange more this an ad na is the right thing about greed so this greed if it has to be curbed we cannot remove the greed greed will always be there we can channelize it we can turn the greed in a different direction in a direction where the more it grows the more better for us and which is that if we can get you know greed to hear about god to hear about bhagavad gita hear about bhagavatam if we can start hearing from very interesting people there are so many speakers in iskon desire tree audio dot iskon desire tree dot info if you go there there are so many speakers you know so many festivals you go and click on some festival lect- uh, lectures you know prerana lectures or you know something like that if we can hear the lectures there will be so many speakers and whose lecture we love to hear let us start hearing if you like to hear about krishna you can hear his holiness uh, radha uh, radha govind maharaj you know he speaks very beautifully we can hear bhagavad gita from his holiness um, rasamrit maharaj bhakti rasamrit maharaj you know so like this you know different people or simply you want the purification of heart let us start hearing shrila prabhupada you know we may need some time to develop taste for hearing for prabhupad but once we start hearing for 15 days regularly or 20 days we will develop so much of addiction for hearing prabhupad that you know we will end up hearing most of the times while we are walking we'll start putting you know some of the prabhupad lectures so through the mobile also you can hear while cooking you can hear so while sweeping i used to hear while sweeping you know i used to wear that apron with the pocket and i would keep the ipod and i would plug it like that and keep mopping and keep hearing prabhupad lectures you know so like this you know once we develop hearing taste you know then the greed turns completely into hearing and there will be no other greed left so develop let's develop greed to hear so that our greed for all other things will perish then um, you know kama krodha loba moha moha is attachment you know our attachment to our mobile or our children or our husband or our things or our um, kitchen equipments whatever you know laptop so how to curb that you know so uh, one way is to use these things completely in krishna service so then it's okay you know if you are fond of a uh, laptop or uh, you know your phone or something if we can use it completely to preach and to hear about krishna uh, hear kirtans hear lectures watch lectures you know then what happens oh this is you know this is to hear about krishna so whenever we see mobile okay i can hear more from this mobile you know i can uh, speak more through this mobile i can preach more through this mobile so like that you know to whatever things we are attached let us start using it in krishna's service or you know if we are attached to our house let us turn it into a temple you know when we purchase this house um 
tiles were not done so i used to come here and i had brought vrindavan's mud and i used to put it below the tiles you know so uh, on some areas i just sprinkle on the cement sprinkle some vrindavan mud and then they keep the tiles so i know this house is vrindavan for me it will give the vrindavan effect and in this house preaching will happen hearing will happen good activities will happen because this is my vrindavan so like that you know if we are attached to the house let us transform it into a temple a beautiful temple or a dham if possible by lot of hearing and lot of speaking about krishna so this way you know our moha or attachment will also become purified it will be connected to krishna and the next is mada mada means you know too much of arrogance arrogance is um, the higher form of ego false ego actually this false ego is the last thing to de- leave a devotee whether it is you or me or maybe many sanyasis you know this unless we reach the level of krishna prem ego false ego will not leave us we will secretly feel i am a great devotee <laughs> the others i'm still i'm little better than the others i'm little better than them i'm little more sincere something like that you know so this ego go as per as per shastras it will go only at the level of bhava and that to krishna removes it and once it is removed we get krishna prem so for that we just have to depend on the mercy of krishna so for that you know first of all we have to understand that ego will be there till the level of bhava bhava and the last stage is prema first it start with shraddha anybody who has little bit of uh, shraddha they will start you know coming to the temple start praying to the lord because they have shraddha that they'll remove the problems you know so people come to krishna for happiness you know to remove the problems so shraddha you know that time ego is there shraddha sadhu sangha bhajana kriya anartha nivritti with shraddha then we start meeting devotees we start hearing from them no ego will be there then also bhajana kriya we start chanting hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 rama hari rama 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 hari hari and start chanting attentively you know then the problems will start coming because krishna takes our case seriously you know the problems that should come in another few lifetimes will all come now you know so that we'll finish it off you know and all the good things also more auspicious things what should happen later that also will start happening now you know so shubhada and kleshagni it's all our uh, you know anarthas will start leaving all our dirt will start leaving all our problems will come means it will come to purify us so that our negative things will start leaving and positive good qualities will start developing so even at that time see i am taking all these problems and i'm still you know a good devotee so some ego will still be there and then will be you know after that you know when we'll finish all this we'll come to nishta level in the nishta level we will not no more cry for the problems oh why did like that oh we don't cry that you know that all happens only in anartha nivritti time when the crying stops and this focus on you know japa continues we feel that my japa quality is not good what do i do because of my thinking of this this and this yesterday today also that thought is coming so let me not even think other things you know whenever i am free let me start chanting so mentally you know 24 hour chanting will start that's the time you know so that tomorrow's japa quality has to be good so then what happens our mind gets focused you know nishtha there will be nishtha that i should do japa better so after the nishtha you know uh, ruchi and asakti and then comes bhava till then we have our false ego so the false ego we have to somehow you know wait and tolerate understand that the others are great understand this is my weakness so then you know by krishna's mercy it will go the matsara is simple that it's it's because we are jealous of krishna we are not able to accept his ways you know uh, in a subtle way you know so for this we have to understand that we are not the controllers we are not the enjoyers krishna is the control krishna is the enjoyer this way we can uh, try to give up our envy thank you very much hare krishna